Hi everyone, it's Gail again. I am back with another episode of Craft With Me, working on my um, latest journal, which is an autumn journal. And before we get started, hi and hugs to Stacy, Teresa, Jeannie, and Roxana. Thank you for your comments and for, and for um, watching my channel. So, I decided the next thing I'm going to work on here is another little um, altered paper clip. I I have this one that I I made it at my retreat, and um, it's great little fall colors. But I usually I usually do um, two of the flips in each book, so I need another one. So it's all inked up and all of that kind of stuff, but. I need to figure out what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do on this little book or little clip. So I am thinking we probably want probably want some cheesecloth because that's always good. Let me see where is my bit of cheesecloth? Huh. Okay, well. I'm not sure where it is, but I have this big old thing of cheesecloth that I just coffee dyed. So we'll get started on that. I'm not sure where I thought I had some more of my little bit. Anyway, no, no worries that way. I'm just going to cut off a little piece that's about the size of this, size of this um, little thing. And... So we'll have that for whatever we decide to do. Um, yeah, let's see. I think maybe a piece of this lovely, lovely sorry silk. Let's see how big of a piece do I want? Maybe just that on there and I'm wondering this little fabric from Ulala Crafts if I could do just one of the birds on there I don't know let's see let's see what we think that it's just a little bit it's bent from being on the card so I'm gonna I'm gonna get to a bird that's <laughs> that's not bent um, and I'll use that other piece for something else yeah that's what I wanted I just wanted it to lay a little a little more flat like that Thinking about sewing, and I am thinking that might be impossible. But what if I had another scrap over here? What if I put this behind the cheesecloth? I'm going to try and sew around that and see see what happens. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So let's try it. And I'm just going to go with a regular straight stitch. And see if I can just kind of stitch around it and stitch all these layers together. And then um, yeah, if I stitch it together, maybe 
I can just glue them onto my altered paper clip. Sorry, I'm not finishing sentences. <laughs> I told you that's my husband's pet peeve. I'm sure I do nothing else whatsoever to annoy him, but that one does. <laughs> Spit it out, Gail. Okay. Speaking of my husband, he, while I was down here working away, he was making mint chocolate chip cookies. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I use mint chocolate or mint chips and chocolate chips. Yum. So I had one warm and squishy out of the oven for lunch. I'm like, this is so good. He's uh, going to head to the grocery store here. I'm making meatloaf for dinner and we're missing an ingredient or two. So, so nice. I mean, <laughs> he's really... It's really taken on a lot of that stuff, which is awesome because it gives me more time to do my thing here. Okay, I like that. I like that. You know what I kind of want is like a little metal something. What if we grab a bulb pin from a tattered dream? Grab a bulb pin and maybe, maybe I have some sort of little, or better yet, let's do one of the rusty safety pins from A Tattered Dream. I think there's the perfect size right here. I'm going to need to order more of these from Denise. Okay. Yep. That's what it needed. Just needed a little extra something, but I think it'll be easier to get this pin on here before I glue it onto the tag. So that's what we're gonna work on here. Yes. Okay. That's fun. All right. So. Let's glue that on with a little Fabri-Tac, and then we'll have, then we'll have our two altered paper clips all at the ready, and then I think we might work with, oh fun, that's a fun one, I like it. That turned out great. I'll show you. Yeah? Fun. Okay, so there's our two little altered paper clips for this journal. So we're gonna put those up with the finished stuff. Um I made a bunch. I think I yes, I did a video on making um, fabric clusters and I made a bunch of fall ones so I want to kind of grab those and see what we might I might pick a couple for this journal I like this one a lot Okay, I like that one a lot. Okay. Maybe we'll do one bigger one because I really like this one too. Okay, I know I'm whispering. I'm sorry, I was thinking. Okay. I think we'll do something with these four. And maybe we'll do different somethings with them. So that it just kind of shows what can be done, right? Um, I think I'm going to grab out, sure, 
these these project life cards they come you know in a couple different sizes and people have asked me what's a project life card oh i don't even know what to say about that it's like a they're usually in the planner section. Um, they're just a little piece of cardstock, little journaling card type thing. They're usually, like I say, in the planner planner section of um, craft stores. And they're just to kind of, I don't know, stick in to write on or whatever. But um, we junk journalers tend to cover them all up, <laughs> which is great. So... I was thinking about this one. This one. See, I don't mind the don't mind the butterfly. Usually these are too big to go on a page. But I do have this one piece of paper that's a little bit bigger. Yeah, they're just they're just a little too big. So I think I'm gonna cut it down to because they're like what are they? Yeah, they're six inches. They're six by four, I think. Yeah. And my pages are six wide. So I probably only want them like five, five and a half at the most, maybe five. Just, let's just cut off an inch here. And I'll stick that in my bit box for, for something along the, um, along the way. Um, let's then, I really like this one with the gold leaf with that butterfly. It's kind of fun. So I can put that right on the edge there. But I don't like this big empty spot. So maybe I don't want to do that. Let's look at some of the smaller ones. Yeah, like see that one. I could just put that on and that's a an instant tuck spot. Do that with that one. Just glue it on with some fabric tack. It's a great way to use up these Project Life cards, and um, you know it strengthens if you have something that's not strong enough to be a tuck on its own. And then I'm just going to straighten that up a little. And then I think I'm just going to cut this a little bit to make it a little straighter. Like that. Super cute, right? Instant tug spot. Okay, so then let's, so that one's on a Project Life card. That's awesome. Let's now put this one, I'm thinking, if I can grab it out here, I'm thinking it might be just the right size to cover a tag. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm going to take this out, and I think I'll ink around it a little bit. And then we'll, we'll stick some sort of a, um, like a pull tab on it, so it still looks like a tag. I think I'll just, I think once again, I'm just going to glue that. And then we can put a 
we can put this on as a tag maybe at the top. Yep, 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 yep. Alrighty. The other thing you could do with these is just leave them as is and put a bulb pin at the top and just, you know, pin it onto your page like if you've got um, lace on your page or something. Okay. Just making sure that covers. Then I'm just going to get my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and put that little tab at the top. This was the one that was kind of wrinkled and so I didn't want to use it on my paper clip, but this is a perfect use for it. Actually, I'm going to do tabs on the pages of the journal, I think, too. So Fold it over and attach it with tiny attacher. Whoops. Okay. And one down here. Okay, now we have a cute little tag. That's fun. Okay, a tag, a tuck. What do we want to do with these guys? Um, let me think here. Is there anything? I definitely want to use one of these cards from a tattered dream too, but I don't want to cover the whole thing up, so I don't think I'll use it for this in particular, but I've got our sack here. What if I just attach this one kind of here, here, and maybe up a little bit and make a little pocket on this, on this bag? That would be fun. We might want to do some more to the bag, but we can kind of use this as our first element. Yeah, let's do that. I'm thinking maybe some, maybe some more of the sorry silk or something at the top or something like that. Let's see how this does. Lay it down up there, just in the corner. Okay, so then what about this? Oh yeah, that's kind of... Oops, I better put my lid on. I'm starting to volcano. I wonder if I kind of did like almost like a little ruffle at the top here. That might be kind of fun, huh? Okay, there goes my washer again. It's just not leaving me alone today. <laughs> I'm just kind of getting an idea of maybe how long to cut this. Okay, I'm just going to cut it about here. And I just want to kind of fold a folded in ruffle. Let's see, I'll put a tiny attacher there. These two are done, so they can go up in the done pile. This one we still need to do something with. Okay, sewing machine. And I think I'm going to do um, zigzag again. Let's see, if I turn this this way, am 
might sort of almost help me keep it open. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of shove a little wrinkle under there. doing it this way because it makes it very imperfect. Now you can do a basting stitch and um, you can do a basting stitch and then you know and then pull one of the threads and ruffle that way but it's just a little too precise for me. So it's you know whatever you prefer really. My husband, I, he, I can hear him up on the phone. He is, he's talking to the, the guy who took his place uh, when he retired. And my husband did a lot of the data and stuff. And so it's like, but he had big shoes to fill there. But um, I just heard my husband and he said, so then I thought, oh my gosh, he sounds just like me on my videos. <laughs> so then... And we'll do this. You know what might be kind of fun too, and I could have sewn it on, but and maybe I don't know, maybe we'll go back over. But I was thinking a little um cheesecloth down the middle of this ruffle would be kind of cool. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Yeah. That's going to be like that. What would a little cheesecloth look like down the middle? I'm just going to cut some and squish it up and see. <laughs> Two with this. Okay, let's see. Okay, and so this is just going to be right straight down, but I want to. keep all the existing ruffles of the fabric though too. Okay. Let's see. My husband just said okay so again. <laughs> Montana thing. <laughs> this so, 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 so. Although it is funny, I've noticed it on other people's videos too. So, there you go. Oh, yeah, that gives it, that almost looks like, I don't know, wheat or straw or something. I don't know, whatever it is, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know if you can hear him talking up there, but he is being loud. <laughs> and 
enthusiastic. It is nice that they call him. Just, I mean, that's really affirming that, you know, you had some unique knowledge and, you know, and that when you leave, people still need your input. Okay. Now it's a little long, but that's okay. We'll cut off that piece and use it on something else. So what I'm going to do is just put some Fabri-Tac on the edge of this. Little bag. And then, well, I like this flat part, so we'll keep that end. And we'll just put the other end on the other side. Oh, I make it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put an itty bitty bit of fabric tack right there just so that that doesn't come unglued. <laughs> come unglued. <laughs> oh my gosh, I do amuse myself. <laughs> Yes, we don't want anything coming unglued. Okay, and then we can like put a journaling card or something in there. That'll be cute, I think. So I'm going to say that's done for now, maybe. But that's not to say we won't come back and revisit this little bag when we actually put it in the book. Okay, so that's up there to dry. Okay, so now we have used a sack, we have used a Project Life card, and we've used a tag. So now, what for the for the last one do we want to use? Um, so here's the last one. I love the orange pop in it. Um, where is? my belly band. I was thinking of putting it on there, but no, because that covers up all that fun stuff. How about on an envelope? Let's just see. I bought some glassine envelopes from a tattered dream. Yeah, what if we just just pop that right on there? Don't really need to do anything else. Do we like it in the middle? Do we like it on the edge? I think I kind of like it on the edge better. Let's, let's ink this. Then I'll be able to tell, I think, better if I like it. I think it was those white edges that were saying no to me. put it there because there's a few of those coffee stains that show that are kind of cool. Okay, so let's just glue up the back of the fabric and we're going to just place it on the envelope. Just as easy as that. And what was so great is I made all these, I was watching TV, what was I catching up on? Probably The Voice or World of Dance or something. And I was just sitting on the couch watching TV and grabbing fabric strips and putting them together. It was really fun to do and then now they're just ready to go and as you can see you can pop them onto ephemera super quick and you've got a, a cool embellishment made right from the get-go. You know what I'm thinking though? I've got a couple little, little bits. I've got this little bit might be kind of fun in this little bit. Yep, I'm going to glue those on because at this point I can't really <laughs> can't really um, use my Tim Holtz or I'll 
attach my envelope shut. Not that I haven't done similar things before. <laughs> but, you know, I try and learn from my mistakes. <laughs> oh, so let's just plop this on sideways like that. Oh my gosh, super cute envelope. Okay, that makes me happy because now you guys know what to do with those little f fabric clusters. And there's there's a tutorial on my on my channel if you need if you need it. Okay, so here's this. I have decided looking at this. I really want some wax on that. So I'm going to do that real fast here. Ooh, the pile of ephemera is getting bigger. I love it. I'm going to put away the Project Life cards. We aren't going to need those in the near future. And I'm going to grab out my little knife and my... Oh, sorry, I'm reaching in front of your face. I know. I'm sorry. But that's where my honey's living is right in this shelf right here. So, not my honey. <laughs> my beeswax. <laughs> my honey's upstairs talking on the phone. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm telling you what, guys. Okay, so I think, I think that's plenty. I'll just set this over here so I don't have to reach in front of you again. Okay, so I just cut off this chunk of the beeswax. And the beeswax I got at a local craft store. So um, I'm sure you can probably get it on Amazon. I'm just going to use this to hold it. See what we can get to have happen here. We don't even need to hold it. I don't want it to drip down that way too. Little by little, it's melting. it is awesome it's melted okay so yeah that's gonna that's gonna dry crunchy that's gonna be cool okay I can kind of show you right now see how much darker the sari ribbon is but um, when that dries it's gonna be stiff so that'll be cool okay so we did that let's see what else um, oh gosh, we have, it's only 33 minutes. So we have time for more fun to be had. Okay, guys, what else do we want to do? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. So I have, you know, these little pockets that are made with a Tim Holtz die cut. And I was thinking about just doing a little something down here, perhaps with a napkin, I don't know, or maybe, yeah, actually, those are going to be a little too big. So what about maybe these, maybe a couple of these sleeves are my, I wanted to do something with these, um, these two, but that's too big for this, so we won't do that. But let's just let's just mess around a little bit and see what we see what we come up with. These are pretty. I kind of looked at these and I was like, "What am I going to? Will I use those?" And yes, I have used them on a variety of little projects. Uh, 
was thinking about maybe using a couple of these die cuts on it too. Do we have a small one like that that's a darker color? Sorry guys, making a mess here, but I'm trying to figure out what I've got going here. Um thought I saw yeah, little near you. It's kind of cute, isn't it? I kind of want some red though. Do I have a small red leaf? I've got big red leaves. I've got lots of big ones, but I probably already used them because I love the red. But maybe... I'm quiet. I'm just playing and deciding what I what I like and what I don't. I don't think I want the big leaf, but maybe I want a lighter green leaf that will Kind of like that, but I think I might want some cheesecloth under it or something. I feel like it's just too flat. What I do with my cheesecloth? There it is. It's under the napkins. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's just let's just put a little square of the cheesecloth under there might make me happier I'm gonna put that on yep that's gonna make me happier show sure enough all right so I'm just gonna do a little fabric tack here to glue down the these cloth. Okay. And then we're going to just glue these guys down. Mr. Red, go this way. Then I think I'll do use the Tombow glue again on these little guys because they're just they're ever so tiny. But I would like them to stick well, you know. So that one kind of just under there. This one. Okay. Ah, <laughs> sticking on my fingers. Oh, it's very gluey. It's very gluey at this point. Okay, I need some 
I need a new baby wipe. Got a red alert here. Red alert. We need wipage. Gail got a little crazy with the glue. Okay. Oh, I just want like something real itty bitty right there. Oh, you know what would work probably is I'm gonna toss all this back in here. Um, is what if we just punch out a little butterfly, a little, 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 little butterfly? You know, little, little enough. How about this one, maybe? Um, then I gotta find some. See how this looks. Should cut all the way this um, punch. I need to sharpen it. I think. Oh yeah, I think that might be kind of cute. And then, because those leaves are shiny, this little guy needs something down his middle. Hang on, just gotta grab my bucket. My bucket, oh, stickles. gold because it's gold that's on the leaves and I just want to do the little butterfly's body in the gold if I can get it out yep I'm gonna go kind of thick yeah okay that's fun that's a little fun should have probably inked it before hand. Okay, where am I gonna set this? Let's see what do we have. We have we're at 43. Okay. Let me show you this. Fun. I like it. But I am notorious for goobering up my um, stickles. So I'm going to set this. Where am I going to set this? Up here to dry. So tell me it's to my upper right if I forget where, where it is when we get to, get to doing things. Okay, one thing I wanted to look at is... I have these little envelopes from A Tattered Dream. I was thinking of maybe adding something fun on one of those. If there's one that has kind of fall colors, that's a reindeer owl. That owl one is kind of fallish. This one has good color too. Let's see. Oh, I like them all. These are so fun. So, I think, I think I want to play with one or the other with some, some fabric. Okay, I still have this little, this little bit. 
That's cute right there, isn't it? And then I could put some other little pieces of lace or something on that. And this one. Got this. Kind of like that. Kind of like that wrapped around. So I think I would go this way. Yeah, let's just kind of pop some collage bits on these and just decorate them up a little. A lovely marriage between a tattered dream and ooh la la crafts. <laughs> With the paper and the fabric. Okay. Oh, this kind of want to put right like that. Yeah, that's the crazy thing, you know. You try and use up your bits, and I just keep creating more bits. Um, I had one of my subbies suggested that I make bags of snippets for making snippet trims or fabric collages or whatever that I put bags of those in in my shop which I definitely have enough to do would you let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea I mean I don't want to go to all the work of making the bags if nobody wants them or or whatever so so let me know on that if you would. Okay, I'm just going to go to my snippet bucket here. I want to... Ah, I'm doing it again, guys. Oh my gosh. That doggone glue. <laughs> it's my fault for not putting on the lid, but oh, geez. It just really does make a mess when you don't tend to it. Okay, so let's do that. That's cute. Let's put the lid on the glue. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing something that might be fun on this. might be fun and I need some I hope you can't hear my husband he's just he's really talking loud up there I mean it's not like he's saying anything that's you shouldn't hear it's just that that might be distracting Maybe go half and half and over a little bit with this one. Now let's just go like that. Hope you can even see what I'm doing. Um, let's cut that at an angle sort of drying so um let's just let's just be bold and just do it huh so I do want the right side up though I'm going kind of under the floor to lease so that you can still see that This one, the top, yeah, the glue bubbles out when I don't want it, and then when I do want it, it won't come out. <laughs> I don't know if that's Murphy's Law or whose law it is, but, <laughs> okay, so 
Well, that's kind of fun. Then we just need a little something down there. You know what would be fun is if I can reach my ephemera stuff. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. Okay, let's put in my little flower bucket here. Ooh, those are cute. I have one in my sights that I want right there. Yeah, that's cute. So, what I want to do is kind of want to ink that up a little bit on the edges. It's I think it just defines the flower outline just a little bit better, you know? Okay. And then on the other one, I'm not sure that I want... I like this one. I don't know if I want any more on that or not. If I had some trim that was this really incredibly beautiful blue color, ooh, what if I, what if I did a little stamping with like peacock feathers? Just gotta find the peacock feathers. Um, I'm kind of thinking what I have in my itty bitty stamp world. Sorry, you guys, if I'm reaching in front of you, but I gotta get this where I can see it. It's a little too big. Ooh, here we go, here we go. This is what I had in mind. So this is a recollection stamp set. So we're talking Michaels here. I just want, I really want something fairly delicate. So I think I might do this one in the corner. That's fine, but kind of like something. Maybe this one. Just do a little bit. Just a little bit across here. bugging me is this other corner of here. Hmm. 
I don't know if I like that better or not, to be honest with you. But I think maybe if I take my vintage photo to it, I might like it a little better. You know, I can't do too many of these videos without having something not go quite right. <laughs> but I really appreciate that you guys are like glad to see when I do something I don't really like too. Speaking of that, I have another thing to fix over on my table, but I don't know if we'll get time to do that this time, but let's see if we... Vintage photo fix everything, right? Okay, I like that better. All right. Let's ink up the back, too, so it looks more intentional. These little envelopes are just adorable. I love them, Denise. Good find. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. Oops. Forgot one of my little stamp things. Um, and then I think I'll also ink my um, other envelope. Okay. Stamp is put away so I won't lose it. Okay, so there's those two little envelopes. So let's see what we got done this time. Oh, I've got a low battery, so I better better hurry up. Okay, so we did all of our little fabric collages on various things, tag, envelope, sack, and this Project Life card. We did this little guy. So... I think we're just going to call it good. So thanks everybody for watching and we will just see you next time. Bye bye.